I think one of the things that this ultimately does come down to, this set of negotiations, is entitlements. Ultimately, that is where, uh, that is what's driving the deficit and the debt problem that the country has found itself in. And so there's a math issue, but there's also a political issue for the president. And he knows that ultimately the entitlement cuts that he's going to have to agree to are going to hit middle class Americans. And he needs to be able to show that when that happens, that he's asking the rich to pay a little bit more. And so one of, he was, he showed a lot of flexibility in the interview, you know, while he was saying that he's standing firm on taxes, he was showing flexibility on what those rates might end up being, also on entitlements, such as raising the Medicare eligibility aid, changing the cost of living adjustment for Social Security. That was all on the table in the summer of 2011. It was part of the proposal that Republicans put forth this week. But he knows that in order to be able to agree to that, ultimately, he needs to make sure that he's extracting something from Republicans, which are these tax cuts. If they go off the fiscal cliff, they do not reach a negotiation, a, a, dis, a compromise by December 31st. Who does the White House think will get the blame? Well, I think it's not just the White House, Charlie. I think that White, the White House and Republicans see that Republicans are ultimately going to be blamed for this. And that's why you're starting to see some fissures among Republican rank and file. You had today, for example, about 40 House Republicans signing a letter and sending it saying that they think all options should be on the table including tax cuts and entitlements. You know, it doesn't seem to be moving House Speaker John Boehner, but what it could ultimately do is start the ground, lay the groundwork for providing him cover to be able to back off his insistence that they're not going to raise rates on top earners. And what that letter shows, I think, is that Republicans are acknowledging that the president does have the leverage in these negotiations. You know, over the summer, privately, Republicans, their aides were saying that they didn't think that the president would let it get to that point. They think he'd cave because that's what he's shown himself to do in previous budget negotiations, the debt ceiling again uh, back in December of 2010 when he had, when he ex extended the Bush era tax rates after saying he wouldn't. But but now what Republicans are saying is, hey, it does look like the president uh, is willing to, to hit that fiscal cliff deadline. And, you know, that's because, in part, the president is the best messenger. This is the key issue that he campaigned on, and he's continuing, essentially, to campaign on it.